Yep. Oh shit, I'm on. G'day legends and welcome back to another video. Man, it's been a while since I've actually picked up a rod. I've been working on my rooftop tent, uh, welding up a few frames to hold my kayak um, and stuff on the roof of my car. Now, I'm back for redemption. This is round three of the Yak Hunters kayak fishing series. We're at Windermere Dam and we're chasing yellow bellies. Now, I come here two years ago or three years ago and I donutted. So, I really want to tick yellow off on this dam just to say I've caught one. For those that are interested in this series, um, you can look us up on Facebook. It's um, Yak Hunters New South Wales. And basically, all we are is a kayak fishing group. Uh, we'll get out, have some fun, a few competitions throughout the year, and stuff like that. If you're not on Facebook, you can jump on the website. It's www.yakhunters.com.au, and all the information is also on there. Bringing everyone together, it's just a, such a good time. Uh, a few laughs. Um, you can also pick up a, handy, a few handy tips as well. Um, you might talk to a brim fisherman there and he can tell you what lures are working for brim at the moment. Um, simple stuff like that. It's also good for mental health, um, getting out in the water, leaving all the work, the stress, the kids at home and, um, and just enjoying yourself. Finish setting up my camping gear and I'll see you on the water. Oh. I did not consent to my video being Used. I was going to video the setups. Yeah. This is uh, Joe's setup. She got the tent on the side of the oh, awning here. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Hey, Change all, all right. the different colours over. Yeah, got yeah. Got the disco lights. Light I got this one. Oh, yeah, one panel up there. Yep. yep. This is uh, Brian's setup. He's had this setup for ages, actually. His charging station here. Here he is. <laughs> G'day mate, how are you? How are you going? I'm good. What are you doing? I'm good mate, just sorting my shit out again. Trying to throw me off. Cover all your stuff up. Oh, near the boat ramp. Oh, they're only little ones, but... Oh, yeah. How many, how many cans down there, Mike? So where's the... Oh, sick. Yes, yeah, so I love stubby holders. What are they? Oh, you, you, get a bit, you get a bit special... Uh, oh! Special oh. oh what's that? <laughs> Hey, is that where you disappeared? That's for the retirees. <laughs> I'm a retiree. Ticking. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> got, got any fish yet? No, I haven't been out yet. There you are, Mick. Andrew, nice to meet Andrew. you. Andrew. Oh, you got the red one? Yeah. I don't know if you, you know John, he's got a red one too. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, Jordan's setup. Sleeps in the back here. He only <laughs> just fits. Just fits in here, but yeah. Bloody awesome. That's not bad. Uh, Where was it? This is Harley's setup. He's got the Oz Pig ready to go. Oh, plenty of room in there. Love that boy. This is where you put the kayak. The rod storage. Why didn't you sleep in the back here? Yeah, sleep up in the top. Yeah, you're on your own. Yeah, hey, you always fucking pull it out. Yeah, oh. Hey, buddy, you go, mate. Like you're there, yeah. Well, this one here sticks. Oh, all right, out. yeah. How yeah, things work? Yeah, I saw it when I was coming back. I saw your green kayak. Oh, I've got a point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice looking shirt. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. I did, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where they come from. Oh, have a go at that thing. Woo. They're in here. What's your name? Corey. Corey. Well, he's got the big light bar on the front, so I remember he's quiet when I see him. He gives Gail the anchor. I think it was good. How good is that? But yeah, anywhere normally is 16, 10 meters. Yeah, no, no. Here's Jason. He's just uh, just rocked up here to uh, light me fire for me. Did he, did he say to put it in? Got some uh, secret admirers over here. <laughs> did Line he say to off. put it in once you got it at 200 or? The right temperature is around 250. Oh, he reckons. Okay. Pizza number two, looking good. The other one's a little bit too crunchy. Now uh, I've dropped temperature a little bit. It should be on 200. Warwick's finally here. 
Hey! <laughs> yeah, kinda! I saw four, one It's only gonna be quick, Mick. I'm only just gonna open it because I don't want to ruin it. What is that stuff on top? That's pineapple. <laughs> Real people have pineapple on pizzas. <laughs> hey, uh, Richard, you wanna have a look? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What is that? Capsicum. Yeah, okay. Oh, that looks, looks nice. Nice colour. Cheese on there. No, Ollie's. Ollie's lucky. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring any Ollie's. But it's a fire. Alrighty, day two. Saturday. Absolutely glassed out this morning, no wind. Real sunny day today as well. So um, I've got the electric on and I'm gonna try and go up the back of the dam. Got a bit of bacon and eggs cooking, me and Jace. Uh, all the others are already out there. They got up super early. It was freezing cold last night. I think it was about anywhere from four to six degrees. And um, Jason's actually gonna go for a drive into Mudgee today and get an extra sleeping bag, aren't you, mate? <laughs> he said it was that bloody cold in that little swag over there with his tiny little blanket. He uh, missed Mrs. Uh, cuddling up to his wife. Got Rumpy on the left and right. Just put it. Just got in the water. Already hooked himself. That's more than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> got the FPV motor on. Little safety cutoff switch over here. So what you do is you get the lanyard and you attach it to your um, person. And then if you fall out of the kayak, just stops the motor, just like that. And then when you reattach it, away you go. So it's got a little controller knob here. Um, you can go, you know, just idle and speed, or you can go right up pretty fast. Um, put a little measurement there. 320 mil, that's the depth of the uh, propeller. So I know what I'm in shallow water. And over here, this is the um, percentage meter. So it's down a little bit at the moment. Um, and I'm just running a 50 amp hour battery, lithium. So yeah, we'll give it a good run up the back of the dam and see how far I get. You can um, grab these at yakunners.com. Um, pretty groovy, saves a bit of getting sunburnt, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll head up the back of the dam, see if we can uh, catch a few. Gotta be a cod hiding up here, surely. I'll take either yellow belly or cod or silver or catfish at this stage. Oh. It's about a metre here where I'm sitting right now. back there. Oh, Ooh, that was a hit, 100%. Oh, yep, yep, oh shit, I'm on. Oh, what's this? That's up to shit. Oh, it's got to be yellow. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, it's a nice one. Yes, I got one. 
Oh my god! Finally got one! My first wind of yellow! Oh man, the adrenaline's pumping! Whoo! Shit! Have a go at him! Got him on the stees, chatterbait! Oh man! My heart's racing! So good, such a good feeling! Oh! Yeah, they mate. Man, it's been so tough. I think we fished two days and no one's uh, caught one. Um, yeah, so good to get one. I'm way up this uh, back little eddy butt. Oh shit, hang on, my rods are uh, bending near and sticks. You beauty! Finally caught a yaller, my first Windermere yaller. So I got him up this uh, back eddy. Um, Man, such a good feeling. He's not huge, but um, my first one. I'm stoked. Man, oh, my heart's racing. I'm going to give him a quick measure, then we'll get him back in the water. He just weighing all over me at the moment. There he's there. He's uh, 50, 52 and a half, I'd say. 52 and a half. Have a look where I got him. Right up this tightest bay you can get. Some real skinny water up here. Um, sitting at about one meter of water. There's a nice little waterfall over there. The GoPro doesn't do justice, but um, I'll get out of here before someone spots me in here, and I uh, might come back here tomorrow. At least I know there's one here. Alrighty, guys. While I'm motoring back to the ramp, I'll just um tell you guys what I caught that yellow on. So all it is, it's a um, Diver Steez chatterbait. Uh, you can buy them from BCF. I think they're around 25, not too 100% sure. So they just come with this skirted jig and a single hook. So what I've done is I've put a, I'm um, pretty sure that's a chase baits plastic. Put a chase baits plastic on him. And then I've also um, put some stingers over the main hook and just a little bead to stop them coming off. So I actually got him on the two stingers, um, pinned him through. This is 3 8 ounce, uh, good for bass. I've also caught yellow on this before at, um, where did I go? Might have been Glenbourne or St. Clair, I'm not sure. St. Clair, I think. I've caught bass, um, catfish, and uh, yellows on this lure. So, and also what I've done is I've trimmed the um, skirt down a little bit, just so the tail's a bit wobbly a bit more. And I've also um, trimmed the, um, the weed guard down a little bit as well, just so it's in line with uh, the hook there. A bit more purchase on the uh, fish. And yeah, so that's the Dial of Steez chatterbait. For anyone interested, this is how you charge other people's bloody batteries. The Kick-Ass Andy Pack, 26 amp hour lithium. And it's got, I think it's got 200 watt inverter, a USB, cigarette lighter. Um, you can plug solar panel into it, charge it up as well. That's it there. It's very small, small little bit of kit. And um, yeah, you just don't use it on yourself, you just use it on other people. Oh, hang on, what's he doing now? He's putting a bloody phone in as well. Bloody hell. Cheers, mate. I'll charge him. Jack was fucking. Do something good. Hey, do something good. <laughs> oh, burn the sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in. Yeah, we'll take some one. It's got the remote. Alright, I'm going to be. Hey, Richard's got hemorrhoids. Good morning, yak hunters. Here we are, comp day. 5.30 in the morning. 
absolutely freezing my ass off. Got coffee on the boil. And brief is at 6 o'clock and launch is at 6.30. So it's going to be a pretty chilly one. I'm going to get the drone out and try and get a few shots. So no doubt I'll be last to leave the boat ramp, unfortunately. I got a whole ass to my spot where I went yesterday. But anyway, I'll see you guys out in the water. Alrighty, here we are at starting line with all the kayaks lined up. Now I think there's 75 competitors today, which is uh, a really good for New South Wales. I think the most we've ever had at a competition. I uh, just want to say a huge shout out to Luke, the boss, the founder. Um, he come down from Queensland, 10 hour drive to um, check out the series. And um, he also put on the barbecue last night, which was really good to get everyone together. And yeah, so I'll take you over to the brief. I think uh, Warwick and John are just about to start the brief. And um, I'll see you guys out in the water. Hopefully I can uh, get on to a few. Oh well, it's one o'clock, no fish. I've heard one guy's got a nine centimetre bag, two fish. Uh, and I've also heard a lot of other people haven't got fish. So, we're about uh, three quarters, oh no, probably about. We were halfway of the dam, but we're sort of heading back a bit now. Um, still can't see the caravan park. Aaron reckons it's an hour pedal back, but I don't know, I reckon 30, but. Um, yeah. Alrighty guys, that's a wrap. Out of 75 competitors, I think about 8 fish or 10 fish were caught. So a really tough day. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you made it this far, really appreciate it. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Um, it just lets me know that you guys enjoy what, I'm, what I love doing, making videos and filming. And fishing, I guess. Um, anyway, I'll see you on the next one.